Right, yo. Salam. Evening, mate. Hey, Ellie. You okay, mate? Yeah, not bad. How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Thank you. Good stuff. What's that, mate? What's, that, what's the flavour of that protein like? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it might be. Mate, it was, uh, you know, yeah, it's all right. It's yeah, nice. It's nice stuff. <laughs> You drink Did you, uh, enough, it's all right, isn't it? bother getting any more from uh, your usual company? They're, they're not delivering yet with the gyms being shut. Uh, okay. uh, I'm unsure whether they're posting anything out. I, I, there's, a, there's a few asking me, so I need to, I need to, uh, I need to check really. Yeah, I'll get on it. I'll get on it tomorrow. Yeah, no, no worries, mate. No worries. Hey, Alison. Hi. You're all right. Yeah, you. Yeah, I've had a day off today, so that's good. Yeah, I see it's nice, nice day as well. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully you've enjoyed it a little. Pick the right one for a change. I normally book it when it's raining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> averages, you might get you get one right eventually, a lot of averages. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's see who else is who else is in. Lizzie's here. Hey Lizzie. How you doing? Good you? Yeah, too bad. How's the astroturf? What's that, sorry? How's the astroturf? Uh, didn't get put down, unfortunately. Just one thing oh. after another. But, uh, we're on to doing it tomorrow now. So, yeah, should be. I'm, it needs to get done tomorrow for the, for the piece of the PTs you've got somewhere. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, should be. Yeah, yeah hopefully it'll be, be good tomorrow. Get, get the, the lads who are supposed to do it for me are coming tomorrow. So, should Brilliant. Be good. Brilliant. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, and if it works well, I might do another area at the top here, so so you can go out of the studio, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see yeah. how it goes. Yeah. Right then. So what we got today? We've got a bit of legs. So you might have checked it out on the post on Facebook. So we've got uh, when you're in the gym, uh, a method that you can use uh, is like a like a drop set or you you strip the bar strip set drop set you reduce the weight that you're using so you hit fatigue with the weight that you're using strip the bar down or strip the dumbbells down pick up a lighter set and, and then you go again um, it's difficult to do when you're using body weight but we can mirror it a little bit by going unilateral into bilateral so it's like leg into double leg um, uh, that's the theme for today so we've got a couple of knee dominant movements to try and hit the quads so we've got, we've got a unilateral movement in the levitation squat, straight into a wave squat or a jump squat or a plyometric squat, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Two supersets of those each side. And then we've got some chair pistol squats with a pulse squat. Again, unilateral movement into two legs, into bilateral movement. Uh, and that gives us an opportunity to um, reduce the load, really. A, a lot like picking up a lighter set of dumbbells or stripping some weight off the bar or stripping the machines down or pinning pinning your machine down in the gym um, so that's the theme today hip dominant as well we're going to run the same thing for a couple of hip dominant movements and if we have the time at the end we've got an inner outer thigh superset no calves today um, but you know if you're jumping around up on your toes doing the sort of cardiovascular stuff your calves do get a little bit of, uh, of recruitment there so it's not mega essential that you're doing a targeted calf work really if you, if you spend a lot of time upon it upon on your, on your toes, on your on your feet. So we'll have a little warm up then, and then we'll talk through the specifics of this uh, of this workout today. Right. So all you're going to need today: a couple of slide pads. Uh, you know, just as if you're on that uh, slippery floor carpet, you can use Tupperware lids. One sturdy chair is is good for the for the levitation squats. Uh, well, we can use that chair for quite a lot of stuff. So warm day again, so we don't have to spend too long on the warm up. We want to try and mobilise the hips, though. We want to try and get these knees and hips particularly uh, ready for the for the rigours of the of the rest of the session. So let's have a little jog on the spot. Into some star jumps and jumping jacks. Whew. 
back to your start, uh, back to your jog. Check squat. Progressively deeper with every rep. Ah, see, so get deep. As soon as your knees and hips feel ready for it, back to that jog. Changing the planes. Cross country skiers again. That's that jog. Speed skaters, just get that out of the thigh. Coming to these later if we get the time. Bit of transverse plane as well if you twist at the hips. Back to that jog. Back to a walk. All right, then knees up to a high hand. Let's try and step over. External rotation. And reverse that movement. Legs a little shake. If you bring your chair in or something to hold on to, just try and get that little inner out of the thigh. Again, if you twist your foot, you get the planes again different. A bit of rotation as well. It's hitting the inner outer, outer thigh. 90 degree turn, bit of hip flexor and hamstring. Change onto the uh, opposing leg. In or out of five first. And a 90 degree turn. Hip flexor, hamstring. And just pop your chair to one side. Just a few steady squats. Try and open up knees and hips. That squatting movement working for us. Some reverse lunges. Try and try and open up that hip flexor. Drop in and push that hip flexor through. With every one of these reps. Push through. Couple more. That's good enough for our little warm up. Okay, so onto our knee dominant movements first. So, this super second again, if you like, uh, in an attempt to try and reduce the load between the, the first and second, second super set. So, levitation squat, which we've, we've, has been a staple for us, into a wave squat. So, I'll bring my chair in. Quick demonstration for you. So I've got my single leg levitation squat, if you like. I want to keep this, this leg that's up off the floor for as long as I possibly can. Shoulders stay square, hips stay square, knees track the toes, hinging at the hips. All the usual teaching points for your squat. I'm going to drop right down and then drive up. So I'm going to shoot for 10 to 12 on the right leg, 10 to 12 immediately on the left leg. And then what I want to try and do is I want to try and double the reps. So if I get, if I got tens on the left, tens on the right, so I want to try and get 20 wave squats. So wave squat or plyo squat, just a jumping squat. <sighs> try and hit that depth though, as you're getting down into that squat. All right, so that should finish off the legs, that second part of the superset should tax that legs out and also bring the, the heart rate up just a little bit. So that's our first superset then. So let's work through a couple of sets of those. See how we feel with the first knee dominant superset. See if that hits the quad. So in your own time, away we go. It's all 
All right then, so, levitation squat starts off. Right side into left side into wave squats. Use this to, for a balance. There, there, your chair's there for a spot. Try and keep that, that this leg, this leg off the floor as long as you can. So you're working with as much percentage of your body weight as you can on these unilateral movements. Good hinge at the hips, knees tracking the toes. Shoot for 10. Right's all right. <laughs> Whatever it is you can do before swapping over onto your left side. <sighs> Quick swap. Straight in. <sighs> Work the negative, remember. Talk about the, uh, the benefits of the negative. So make sure that we're getting that benefit. So it's nice and slow and controlled. Then you drive out of the hole at the bottom, drive out the bottom of that squat. Drive the heels down, head up, chest out. A couple more for me. That's one. Right, that's 10 each side levitation squat. I want to double my reps if I can. So 20 of these plyometric wave squats. First set done. Heart rate come up. Felt that in the legs as well. First one. Good stuff. Once you finish your reps, take a little breather, take some fluids on board. Start to move the body weight around in a sort of explosive fashion. Heart rate will come up a little bit. Like we've said in past sessions, it's not our primary goal. We're going to try and hit those muscle groups if we can. If the heart rate does come up, then good, good little benefit. Got one more of those to, to work through before we change the movement for our knee dominant, for our, well, for our quads really. Change it, changing the knee dominant movement. A few seconds. Okay, let's get set up for the second superset then. Exactly the same as the first, so you'll know how it feels now. Let me shoot for the same amount of reps, just to allow for that sort of fatigue setting in. See how we get on. Technique, slow descent, good negatives. Head up, chest out, hinge at the hips, drive the, drive the heel down. Keep this elevated leg off the floor for as long as you possibly can. Use your chair for balance and your chair for a spot. All right, here we go then. Levitation squat, kick off this second superset. Unilateral into bilateral movements. One, two. Remember not to let that trailing leg touch down. Keep it off the floor as long as you can. Good descent, slow negative. Two more for a good 10. That's one. 
quick spin around the other way. Center pose in leg, straight in, hips, shoulders, knees track the toes, hinge at the hip, dead square, drive the heel down, head up. Chairs there for a spot if you need it, and for balance if you need it. Eventually, you get strong enough to work these without the chair. Five, six, seven, work that negative. Two more, feel that on my quads. Last one, then I'm into my plyos. Ten each side. 20 wave squats, 20 jumping squats. 20 plyo squats, here we go. Doubling the reps. Oh, our second set was tougher. That bit of fatigue in there from the first set. Tickers come up. Legs are burning. Feel it in the quads. Good first exercise there. Good first superset. Levitation squat. Each side, unilateral. Into your bilateral plyometric stuff. Into your bilateral wave squats. Whew, little recovery there, set your fluids on. We'll have a quick chat about this second knee dominant super set we're going to do in just a minute. Get that heart rate to come down. All right, so while we recover, while you get your fluids in, we've got your chair pistol squats. Again, it's been a staple for us with this body weight strength building through the legs that we've been trying to do over recent months. Into a pulse squat. So unilateral movement, chair pistol squat, into your bilateral two-legged movement, your pulse squat. We're going to drop to the bottom of the squat and just come up halfway. We're going to work the most beneficial portion of the lift, that bottom half, if you like. That bottom half of the squat. So a little bit more metabolic stress there as opposed to being a bit more plyometric earlier. So the movements will look like we've done these before. So not, not really a, a big problem. You're all familiar. So working the negative. So legs well, so as I can. Light touch, drive up. I'm going to shoot for 10. Shoot for 10. And then I want to double my reps up, ideally. So I've got 10. If I've got 10s, then I'm dropping to the bottom. And I've got 20 little pulses. Which are going to be, they're, all, they're not so bad on their own at the pulses. But after you've done your, your, uh, your pistol squats, they're going to be quite tough. All right, so we've got another couple of, couple of supersets. These two sets. So if you feel good and ready and recovered, you've had your fluids, you know the movements. Let's have another go at these. See if we can get that condition on the legs. See how they, see how they feel. All right, then I'm going to shoot for 10 each side. You've got your rep targets. See how we get on. Leg up. Slow descent, light touch, drive up. So this version of a pistol squat. Try not to just rest at the bottom. Keep tension on that working leg. Oh, if you can, easier said than done. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Knees track the toes. Oh, that was a bad rep. Nine. Come on. 
Oh, that's a bit of fatigue there. Quick swap. Away we go. Oh, 10 for it, let me down. All right, that's 10 each side. 20 pulses to double up my reps. Here we go. Oh, Whew. good burn there at the end. Whew. Feel that in the quads, definitely. Still on these knee dominant movements, so definitely feeling it on the quads, the front of the thigh. We're going to change our approach in just a second and get into a couple of movements that are hip dominant which will hit the back of the leg, the posterior, rear part of the leg, the hamstrings and a bit of glute. But before we do that, we've got one more of these knee dominant supersets to do. Get these legs, keep, keep them a bit of shake out. So we're trying to mirror with, with these ideas today, a bit of drop setting that you might do in the gym. You know, you might, put, if you're using a machine, you might have your working weight, the 10 to 12, hit failure, pin it down and then go again. Same sort of theory that we're trying to accomplish here. Another few seconds then. One more of them to do. 23 minutes past. Right, okay. Right, well, let's get into it then. Just try and keep the pace ticking along. Pistol squat left, pistol squat right, hold squats, make sure that we're doubling the reps on the bilateral movement. So if you've got tens, then obviously 20. If you get 12, then obviously 24, so eight, you double it up to 16s. So let's let's have a go then. To just sit all your weight down, talking to myself as well. There, myself are telling off the reps aren't very good. You know, hold yourself accountable for good reps. <sighs> we only count the good reps, we only want the good reps. <sighs> That's a better rep. 10, good, okay. <sighs> Tell this right up. Not too much rest in between the legs. We're trying to keep the stress on that body. That wasn't very really good, that second rep. Nor was the third. Come on. Partly losing balance. That's a better rep. Oh. Oh. Six. Finishing the set better than I started it. Okay, tens into my pulses at the bottom. 20, dropping down. Oh. Tough again. Good burn on the quads. How are we going, Ali? All right, yeah. Yeah, good. 
Uh, four, 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 I think. Yeah, it's wow. not bad. You got any more clients today? No, I'm done now. Oh, well, he's going home for his tea. What are you having? Uh, I think chicken and rice and veg. Oh, I'm setting the standard there. Yeah, yeah, chicken, rice and veg, all the good stuff. <sighs> Plenty of fluids in them while the, uh, we wait for the legs to recover. So we're moving from these knee dominant movements, which emphasize the quads, into a couple of hip dominant movements now to emphasize the, uh, the glutes and the hamstrings. So we've got single leg elevated hip thrusts, which again have been a staple for us to hit that posterior leg. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do as many as we can with, well, I say as many as we can, 10 to 12 left side, immediately in, 10 to 12 right side. And then what I'm going to try and do is go both legs, but double it up. Both legs on the, on the chair, so bilateral, and I'm going to shoot for, for 20. If I do 10 left, 10 right, you shoot for me 20. So it'll look a little like this time. So right angles at the torso. Right angles at the knee if I can, best I can. So there I go. So I've got my single leg. Let's say 10 there, swap over, 10 there, and then I'm going to drop both legs in, and I'm just going to rep out double leg, double up the reps, 20 reps. Uh, and we're going to feel that. That's going to be quite tough. Hamstring is the, is the primary mover. Bit of assistance from the lower back, bit of assistance from the glutes. Uh, main teaching point. Knee, hip, shoulder, everything lines up. Push the pelvis up to the ceiling. Try not to pick the head up too much because we don't want the ante, you know, we don't want to be in flexion with the torso too much because we're trying to get the hips in extension. We're not trying to get the, the abs into flexion. So rest the head, and that's really, really going to help as well. It'll, it'll rest your, your neck as well if you rest your head. It's easier said than done, though. I'll feel my head starting to come into the movement. So just remind yourself to rest your head, hands out to the side just for a bit of balance. So as soon as you're ready then, right angles here, right angles here, one leg up, let's go for those, let's go for those hip thrusts. Try and get that straight line, knee, hip, shoulder. Away we go. Controlled reps. I'm not fussed for a load of reps that are thrashed out. Let's have less reps that are really good quality. I'm going to remind myself to rest my head. <sighs> Kick it in my hamstring now. This is <sighs> one more. Oh, tough there on the left side. Quick swap over. Squeeze the hamstring. The elevated leg remains moving in the vertical plane. Get the hips up. Form that straight line through knee, hip, and shoulder. Squeeze the hamstrings at the top. Three more for me. Two more. I can feel this in the hamstrings. Right, so ten each side. I want to double the reps up now bilaterally. So both legs. It'll be a lot easier now. But there's a bit of fatigue in there. I'm just going to push out 20. Doubling up the reps. There's five. Still squeezing the hamstrings and glutes. Trying to get those straight lines here. <sighs> These are tough. Kicking in now. 13. <sighs> All right, last five. <sighs> Two more. Last one. Oh, that was hard. Whew, little breather at the bottom. Good minute there. We're going to run that superset one more time. See you later, Ali. See you later. Tough that. Immediately, the emphasis has left the quads. Of course, the nature of the movement is here, hamstrings, bit of glutes. Again, my lower back letting me know. So, body keeps on telling me. 
do your core, do your core, do your core, and I keep on ignoring it. So my lower back needs a bit more attention. Strengthen it up, trying to get it as strong as my upper and lower body if I can, eventually. So we're going to run that superset one more time. They were quite tough, 10, 10 and 20. I might to, I wasn't quite getting the height on the hips on those last few sort of unilateral ones. So I might drop it to eight, see if I can get some quality reps and then double up and get 16 on my, uh, on, on, on the two legs together. Last few seconds there. All right, last one of these supersets. As soon as you feel good and ready, let's, let's have a go. Right angles, right angles, straight lines, rest your head, squeeze your hamstrings, use your teaching points. Away we go. Oh, that hurt already. Hamstrings firing up. Oh, picking my head up and all sorts then. First eight, done. Second eight. What a first rep, match, you know. Two more. Last one. Oh, both legs now. 16 reps of double it up for me. So here we go. Don't have to rush them. 16 good squeezes. Or however many you're shooting for. Just squeeze them. You ain't got to thrash them out. There's eight halfway. Do a breather. Four to go. Two to go. Last one to get right up. Oh, a little breather. Oh, tough that. Two hip dominant supersets there to, to start us off. We're going to change the movement next, but try and keep it hip dominant. There's a little bit more quads in this next one, but we still want to try and keep the emphasis at the hips, if we can. Whew. Ah. Hard that, you've got still, you know, laid down, but still, still challenging, still tough. Feel that in the back of the leg. So what we come, walk it off, get a bit of fluids. Set up for our next hip dominant superset if we can, uh, which I just remind myself of the workout sheet. We've got the Bulgarian split squat, sprinter style. So there's more fold at the hips. Try and keep it hip dominant. If it's tall all the time, it's knee dominant. If we're folding at the hips, we can make it somewhat more uh, rec recruiting of the. The leg, really. So we've got Bulgarian split squat, sprinter style, left and right, into dynamic lunges, sprinter style, with that little touch down of the hands. It's going to make that. It's going to make that quite taxi, really. It's going to be quite hard. This one. Little demo. So Bulgarian split squat. Let's talk about this movement first. Elevate one leg, so that immediately brings it unilateral. All right, normally this is done tall, and then that is very much a knee dominant. There's not much going on at the hip. It's very much a knee dominant movement to hit your quads. We can bring some posterior chain into it. We can bring quite a large percentage of posterior chain into it if we add a sprinter style to it, coming down into that sprinter position. So we can still, we can still it doesn't have to be explosive. The explosive element comes later. So I'm going to drop and touch. Now I've got this fold of the pelvis, and I'm coming up and tall at the top, trying to keep a balance. So touch at the bottom, up and tall. Touch at the bottom, up and tall. 10 on the left, 10 on the right. Then I'm going to double it up into my dynamic lunges. So I've got my dynamic lunge position. I'm going to touch, 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 touch. With the touch, 
forcing the touch to the floor forces the, felt, the, the, the hips to fold, which makes it more posterior chain driven as opposed to staying up nice and tall. So it's all about those touches to the floor when you're looking to modify your, uh, your split squats to make, them more, to make them more posterior driven. So that's our superset. Let's have a little go, see, see what we think. So bring your chair in. I'm going to work around tens, but you know what you're capable of. So let's see, let's see how we go. You ain't got to rush these reps either. So don't, don't rush them, flash them out, thinking I'm just going to get the set done. Think about the quality of those reps. Okay, here we go. One leg elevated, a bit of balance required. I don't know what's wrong with my balance today. All right, here we go. Touch and come up. Touch and come tall. Drive through. Touch. Three. So it doesn't feel like much at the moment. Four. With that extended time under tension, you'll really, really feel it as you get through the set. Six. Touch. Touch. Nine. Touch. And there's me turn. Quick swap. Straight in. Feel it in my lower back already. Up tall at the top. I'm into extension at the top. Seven, shoulder blades down and back at the top. Eight. Nine, one more. That's the unilateral portion done for me. I'm going to get into my sprinter style dynamics. Now, I'm going to try and double it up for 20s. Eight. Twenty. Oh, cool. Hardly set so far, I reckon. A lot of lower back. A lot of lower back in a negative way. In a, in a positive way, in a good way. Feel those muscles working in my lower back. Tickers up again, jumping around. Good rest there then. Let everything recover. We've got one more of those supersets to do. And then into inner outer thigh to complete the sort of recruitment of the leg musculature. Everyone just batters down on the quads. They become quad dominant. Don't do any hamstrings. Hamstrings naturally tight anyway. And then they wonder why they get a hamstring injury after hamstring injury. Don't do any flexibility work for them. Don't do any strength work for them. Everything's knee driven, quad, uh, quad driven. Just end up with big imbalances. So we need to try and make sure that we're working all planes. We're getting the right recruitment through the legs. When my heart rate's come down, it's a sign that I might have to do more cardio. Just check the time. 22. Okay, we're doing all right. All right, starting to recover. Still feel, feel my lower back's got a good pump. Got a bit of waste, a bit of meta, uh, metabolite buildup in my lower back. That's all right. Let's do what I can this next set. If we drop it to eights, it's absolutely fine. All right then, so you know what you're shooting for with your sprinter style split squats. 
into your sprinter style dynamic lunges. So let's see how this second superset looks. In your own time then, as soon as you're ready, away you go. A touch. A drive up too explosive. We've got the explosive movement later. We can squeeze up in that balance. Work in the negative. Don't have to rush anything. Two more, then shoot for the eight. Quick swap. Halfway there. Here the legs. Generally feeling tired. Okay, onto the explosive part now, the bilateral. Two legs. Sprinter style. Let's have a little look. Off we go. Off. Oh, yeah, hardest movement so far. That for me. Good rest there. Stretch off anything that's tight. Roll my lower back around a little. So, so far then, unilateral to bilateral stuff. Levitation squat into wave squat. Initially, two sets, unilateral into bilateral. Then your chair pistol squat into your pull squat at the bottom. Same theory, one leg into two. Hip dominant, single leg hip thrust into double leg. And then just now, the Bulgarian split squat. Sprinter style with the dynamic lunge. Sprinter style to try and get the the fold at the pelvis to get the, the hip hinge, which makes things a little bit more hip driven. So in or out of thigh now completes the completes the uh, the recruitment through the legs for us. So you're going to need your your slide pads, as we've got some lateral slide lunges to do, and then we've got the driving movement afterwards. The speed skaters are trying to hit the outer thigh. So the slide lunges hit the inner thigh. First half of the superset, second half of the superset, the uh, speed skaters try and hit that uh, outer portion of the of the thigh out of the leg, outer outer glute. Just another few, another few seconds from your lower back. You guys are probably itching to get going. Oh, yes, uh, so, because I'm on carpet on this uh, on this sprint track, so I've got my Tupperware dish lid. Perfect for what I want here. So I only need one. So I've got one planted leg, and that's the leg that slides out into that deep lunge. I'm going to maybe shoot for 10, quick swap shoot for 10. Then I've got my 20 speed skaters, and that constitutes my super set. So we're running the same theme all the way through this workout. Okay, then get yourself set up with your slide, with your slide pad. If you're on your hard floor, you can use your socks. One, one, you know, just take one, one sock off. So you've got one bare foot, one sock, that's fine. 
or a duster or something like that. Just something that makes your, your one foot slippery uh, and that'll give you everything you need for this, for this exercise. Okay, and you're out on then. Away we go. So I'm gonna try and get nice and deep so I get this stretch on the inner thigh. Squeeze as I come back to the top. Try not to lean too far over. It's gonna be a natural lean. But that's so your body weight leads away from the waist. Try to stay as vertical as you can. Easy said than done, of course, particularly from deep there. So you could try and push this leg down into the floor as you, as you drag it back. Oh, that's very healthy, very good rep. Oh, that was a better one. Oh, as soon as you feel the technique break down, that's enough. One of these, this is a difficult movement. This six, I'm gonna go for two more. <sighs> eight quick swap, eight on the other side. I'll be happy with that. Starting to just generally feel tired now. For eight. Oh. Better left on this left side. <sighs> Much better on this left side, strangely. I just have got into the movement. One more. Deep. Okay, eight to each side, 16 speed skaters. I'm going to try and twist with the torso so I've got a bit of transverse plane going on. So here we go. Try and drive. Six, <sighs> the explosive movements get the ticker going. Good rest there. Got one more of those in or out of thigh supersets to do. Oh, excuse me one second, guys. I just need to, I've got an important message I need to answer. Sorry about that. <sighs> Hopefully you changed, you felt the uh, emphasis change again. Uh, for initially, first third of this workout quad driven, second third of this workout posterior leg, hip driven, hamstrings predominantly. Uh, now hopefully we're feeling it in a in or out of thigh on this uh, on this last third. Coming up 10 2. Doing all right for time. Right, okay then. If you're feeling good, feeling ready, you've got a little bit of a rest there. Let's get this second superset going for the in and out thigh. Then we can maybe have a look at stretching off. There we go. This one. Right, so what I want to try and do there, pretty noticeable to me that on the left side, reps are much better quality than on the right side. So got a little bit of something to work on on my right side here. If I can see if I can get my right side reps as good as my left side. All right, then here we go then. So set your rep targets. Good reps, no rush, good time under tension. 
Um, make the reps as quality as you can. Here we go. Better so far. Remember to work the negative, feel for it. There you go. Two more. One more for me, anyway. You're feeling good. Keep going. Oh, that's me eight. Just generally feeling tired today. All right, left side. Two more. Last one. Oh, you that full stuff done. A bit more fast, faster pace movements now. We've got these speed skaters to do. Nice twist at the torso if I can get it. Staying low. Ooh. 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 Feeling the pace today. That's the that's the workout done, that's the bulk of it done. Two, two supersets knee driven, two supersets hip driven, one superset targeting the inner and outer thigh. Bit of stretching off to do in just a second. So bring your chair in, it's going to help us do the do the stretches for the legs. So you're going to want something to protect your knees again, something you drop that knee down onto. I'm going to grab a mat. This will do to help me protect my knees. I'm just going to pop that at the foot of the chair there. Give the knee a little bit of protection as I'm trying to stretch out this quad and hip flexor. So into our stretches then. So elevate one leg at the back on the chair. Drop that knee down towards the floor. Something soft to rest that knee on. And then just ease back, lean back. Try and get your, your, your glute to touch your heel, your bum to touch your heel. Just try and feel that thigh opening up, that hip flexor opening up on the trailing leg. Let that stretch take. Thigh. Get the hip flexor. Top of the groin there. Now relax, change it, quick swap. Oh. Again, heel and glute, looking to bring them together. Push the hips forward, stay tall, stay in extension with the hips. Don't fall into flexion. Stay in extension and get a better stretch that way. Let that stretch take. And relax there, good stuff. Up on your feet again. 
Let's try and target the hamstring. Using the chair, so heel up. Now, we want to focus on the hamstring, and we can influence the hamstring at the knee, and we can influence the hamstring at the hip. So, you want to increase the distance from the, from the origin and insertion of the muscle so that they're on stretch, so they're lengthened. And if you flex at the hips, it shortens the distance between here and here. But if you extend at the hips, hip extension, a little bit of anterior pelvic tilt, push your tailbone backwards, immediately you feel your hamstring on stretch. And that's what we want. So you can help the issue by bringing your calf towards you a little bit. You'll feel that a little bit more on the, on the calf. And then just drop into that stretch with a little bit of a bend in the knee. You don't even need to do anything with your upper body. People fall forward, try and get the chin to the knees and all that sort of jazz. Just all you got to do is tip it, just use the pelvis and drop that knee to the stretch. That, that, that feels great on my hamstring. Just bring this toe towards you. Stretch it, hamstring. While we've got that leg elevated, let's turn 90 degrees and drop into your inner thigh. Stretch it, that inner thigh. And relax there, you're going to swap the legs over, hamstring opposing side, same rules, just pop a little bit of anterior pelvic tilt in, put this hamstring on stretch, bring your toes towards you. When you've got that good position, don't worry about the position of your chest or your shoulders, just drop in with this knee and you'll feel that stretch in your hamstring and keep, that, keep those toes close to you. You'll feel that on the hamstrings. Feel that on the back of the leg. Tighten your quad. Even better. Get a bit of stretch there. Let that stretch take. And turn 90 degrees. Posing leg. Adductor. Inner thigh. Just drop in, stretch it out, put some length into here. Origin and insertion as far away from each other as you can make them. Reverse the muscle contraction for the stretch. That's all you've got to do. Think about how the muscle works. Get it, get it, get it going and pose it. Relax there. Bit about thigh. Use the chair for balance. So take this leg across, figure of four, sit into the stretch. You've got the chair there for a little bit of balance, a little bit of a spot. Try to feel it in that outer hip. Just to get comfortable. Let that stretch take. Feel that one. Oh, relax. Bring the chair around. Same the other side. The last stretch now. Don't need to do so much on the cars. You didn't do too many carbs today. Now, don't worry about the calf. Drop into that outer hip stretch. Oh, and relax there. Good stuff. Have we finished early for a change? What time is it? Spot on. Spot on seven o'clock. Brilliant. Well done. Hope you've enjoyed that one. Trying to keep changing the, uh, the theme of these workouts, you know, so that you've got different, different theories to sort of work through. Um, isometrics, 1.5, straight sets, drop sets, halving the weight, doubling the reps. Ice, you know, metabolic stress, you know, we've, we've done done quite a lot of different mythology, haven't we, over the last few months. And, uh, yeah, good stuff. Well done, everyone. Thanks for joining in. Thanks. Nice one, Pat. No worries. Yeah. So, uh,
we're doing Thursday for push and we? We've got chest, shoulders, triceps on Thursday if anybody fancies that. Yeah, cool. Cracky, take care Bye. of yourselves. Bye. Cheers, no worries. Cheers, Ellie. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Sean. Cheers, Pat. No worries, mate. All the best. Bye, Matt. Take it easier. Andrew, see you later. See you, Matt.